What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Where's My Bike, aka the FLX Baby Maker Q&A. Today, we're going to answer all of your questions in the chat. We're going to go over the last production update a little bit and be here to answer any questions you've got about the Baby Maker, electric bikes in general, and give a global status update on where everything is. Troy will be coming in at 2.10, so 10 minutes here, he'll be coming in for that global status update, followed by Sarah and Ben. So without further ado, let's crack into the questions. By the way, we did have a very big week. If you missed the production update, we're on the board in the UK. Finally, 88 bikes went out there. Another shipment's going to the EU, and then we'll be uh, back and forth between the EU and UK from then on. So a lot of progress lately, and we'll keep up that momentum. All right, first question from Lewis. Same here. France, I got my address confirmation yesterday. What is the usual time between the email and estimated delivery in EU? So if you got the address confirmation for France, you're probably on the shipment that is leaving Friday. So it's leaving in, in two days for the EU. They will go from Spain to the fulfillment center in the Netherlands. And then out from there, they'll be distributed to your individual addresses. So an exact handling time, I can't give you, um, you know, the, cor the correct time there. Troy might be able to give you a, a better time, but I would say within 10 to 14 days, um, that's probably a, a reasonable ball ballpark range from now, 10 to 14 days, you, you'll likely to see that bike. If not, uh, at least get that tracking number shortly uh, in the coming days. Greg Reed. I am in the U.S. and have been waiting for my bike for 363 days. Please stop saying July is an ambitious goal and deliveries are mostly first come, first served. Greg, I'm not sure what you would like me to say. Um, they are mostly first come, first served. July is a very realistic goal, actually, for pretty much uh, everywhere in the EU and UK. It is tight, but possible. That is the end of July to uh, ship out all of the baby makers. Jeffrey Beck Sr., when confirmation emails are sent, what time of the day are they emailed so that we can move on and not waste time constantly checking for updates and weeding through junk mail in case we missed it? Hey, Jeff, great question. So um, that will be during our business hours, which is Pacific time here in California between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, Pacific time. Most likely sometime uh, during that, it could be an hour or two on either edge of that, but it certainly won't be in the middle of the night. Jeff says, hello, is it my bike you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. It's on its way someday. Only no one really knows somehow. Jeff, it will be coming. Thank you. John Brazil. Hello, Rob. Hello to you, John. MPF 200. Got my email today. Can't wait to ride around SD. Hell yeah. Almost there. Malcolm, are all the components required to build the remaining UK and EU bikes now in ben Banyoles? Malcolm, so we had uh, one shipment of 230 bikes. Let me see if I have a, an update on that. There's a lot going on there. Uh, I don't, I can't say for certain if that's everything or not. I'm going to ask Troy when, when he's in. I'll defer that to him, Malcolm. Mr. Yuchi, hey there, just paid my UK VAT yesterday. Will the delivery company contact me to arrange a delivery date or just show up at my door? So Mr. Yuchi, uh, you should get a tracking number. That's generally what we do in, in all locations if we can get one. I believe the carrier in the UK is Tough Nails. And uh, you should be able to track that to your door if it works like uh, our other carriers. MPF 200, if I got my confirmation today, you asked, do we have any estimate on when I may be getting my bike? Are we talking weeks, days, or months? So uh, MPF 200, generally we, we will write in the initial allocation or confirmation email uh, a basic date so within you know first half of april or whenever if it's just the shipping address confirmation that may be the next step there is to say um 
when it will when it will come. So please hang tight on your emails. But generally, if it's a shipping address confirmation, I believe that's once it's already on the boat and uh, soon to arrive. So it's been been sailing for a couple days on the boat. We confirm the address. So that could be you know three, four, possibly five weeks out. I'd say between three and five weeks. Andy, are you saying July is the latest to complete assembly and shipment of all UK bikes too? So Andy, yes, when we made those estimates, um, it was based on numbers we were given by our factory. It's going to be tight uh, for the UK and EU. Luckily, they have much less shipment time because it's they don't have to go over water. So there's a little bit more time there to build them and ship them out. But uh, if we keep up at our current pace, we should be butting right up against that deadline uh, to complete and ship out all UK and EU bikes. It's tight. You know, we don't know what's going to happen between now and then. Something could happen that could slow things down a little bit, but we're going to be very close to it. Joseph. Hello, Rob. I don't know if this is a Troy question, but I ordered my bike May 25th as last year. When can I expect an allocation letter? Joseph, unfortunately, I can't, uh, I can't answer that. Troy won't be able to answer it either, uh, but I can say it will be between now and July 31st. I can't give you a more exact date because that's something that's uh, outside of our uh, powers right now, our control. What we're doing is once, once the bikes are built according to our bill plan, then we take them, everything that's been built, and allocate them, and that's when we're able to communicate. Okay, it's been built, it's going to ship, and that's when we contact you. Malcolm, based on the percentages and production rates you quoted in last night's update, my math suggests you will not fulfill all the UK and EU bikes by July. Are you still confident in meeting that promise? So, Malcolm, I did just answer that question. I believe you wrote that before I answered it. Michael Garibay. Hey, Rob, 100 miles on my Blade 2.0 and have a slight squeak from the belt. Dry. Tried silicone spray, as the Gates website says, but if you have something that works too, let me know. Thanks. Hey, Michael, I'm going to ask uh, Jason, our mechanic, about that. See if he has a recommendation. So he's, he's a total whiz with it, and he also rides the Blade 2.0. I believe he got his first ticket on it today for, uh, he said he was riding up a hill at 35 miles an hour and uh, not wearing a helmet, and that's what they got him for. Mr. Yuchi, no tracking number, just that invoice and letting me know that my bike is in the UK. Uh, so on that the VAT invoice will come first. Once that's paid, that's when it that's once that's when it will go out uh, with the shipping company Tuffnell. So that's when we should be able to get a tracking number after they ship it out. Give us the tracking number, and then we should be inputting those into Indiegogo or emailing them directly to you. Connie Reese. Um, yes, I did see your video. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your blade. Uh, it does have extreme, an extremely wide gear range with that, with the roll off speed hub. So when you had it on gear one and you felt there's almost no resistance, that's just because it's in the lowest gear, you know, you spin the, spin the, uh, the pedals a lot just to move a little bit. And that's how you can get the power to go up, you know, super steep hills, etc. When you put it in 14, then you'll feel a lot of resistance, just like shifting a car. But imagine if your car had a crazy wide gear ratio. So that's completely normal. Um, and it's normal on the Blade 2.0 to, um, to be starting in like a 3, 4, 5, 6 in a higher gear unless you're starting on a steep hill. So I did see the video, Connie. It's not backwards. There is no, no, no problem with that at all. And Andrews, we don't see or hear much about Pete these days. 
Is he still around? It was all his beta testing that convinced me to buy a baby maker and all the work he did setting up manufacturing. Great question, Ann Andrews. He did do a great job uh, with the baby maker, the testing, and all that. He's still a big advocate for FLX. Oh, Troy. Still a big advocate for FLX, and you may be seeing him in the future. Troy, welcome. Do you want me to come back later? No, no, you're perfect. All right. I got a lot of questions for you, Troy. Ones that I'm too dumb to answer, unfortunately. That's Let me scoot pressure. over here. All right. How are you feeling today? I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Hopped up on Mountain Dew, really? Sure. Yeah. Wow. I am Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Naughton Jr. to your Ricky Bobby. So <laughs> that's where the Mountain Dew reference comes from. I Talad guess if you have to explain it, it ain't funny. <laughs> Talladega Nights. Troy's the winner of our uh, joke competition. Yes. Almost, almost two times running. Almost two times. Okay, can I start with just a couple questions for you sure. before we jump into it? So in the UK, are they going to get tracking numbers? Yeah, they should. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow up with, uh, with uh, um, those guys. But yeah, you should get tracking numbers on them. So and everything was moving over the stuff that we cut labels for the last uh, two days. And then we sent over nine more today. So, but what they had, they had already, had already processed. So those should have been moved on to Tufnels and should be actually seeing first deliveries this week. But I, yeah. will, I will clarify that. Awesome. Okay, yeah. another, another question mm -hmm. about, um, so the people in, in the EU that got their sh uh, address mm -hmm. confirmations, right. you sent that out recently, right? This yeah. week? Yes, this week. About how long between now and when they might see their bike? So those bikes will go on the truck on Friday. A uh, couple days over intake process and all the rest, those should start shipping out next week. So I don't know, depending on your distance from the Netherlands, could be as early as the end of next week or or probably early the, the week following. Great. Yep. I think I told them like 7 to 14 days. Is that that would be, yeah, that would be about right. Cool. Awesome. All right. Um, all right, I'll let you crack on. Okay. So we'll start with uh, U.S. and Canada. We uh, are sending out, we've talked about sending out additional chargers and batteries. So 94 chargers went out, 80 to the U.S. and 14 to Canada. Those actually are just address confirms and then those will go out afterwards. But uh, check your, do your uh, address confirmation. Let us know if your address has changed and we'll be sending out uh, a bunch of uh, chargers to people who bought those as a part of the package. Uh, batteries, 63 batteries were uh, FedExed out into the US and we're processing the 15 for Canada right now. So more batteries coming. Finally, so we'll move on to containers. T2 and T3, this is the one that has taken a while, was sitting off the coast of San Francisco for the better part of two weeks. It is now the MSC La Spezia is now waiting for a berth uh, off of uh, LA Long Beach Harbor. We, if you got a address confirmation in late March, that would have been T2 and T, T3, 450 bikes. So we're looking forward to those hopefully being to uh, FedEx warehouse in the next 10 days, in that range, 10, 10 days, two weeks. It all depends on how quickly they, they get a berth uh, in the harbor. Uh, T4. 660 bikes, we will be sending out the uh, address confirmer, confirms on that one on 416, which is this Friday. The MSC Auriga, if you guys are keeping track of that stuff at home, 660 bikes. And also on that same one is container 18, another 222 baby makers. So uh, pray for that ship, 880 plus baby makers on that uh, container ship. We'll send out those address confirmations on 416. So 880 people are going to have, well, hopefully a good weekend because they're going to know they've got their uh, baby maker allocated. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read my notes. So current, uh, just, just so you know, current estimate for arrival to LA about 425 on the MSC Ariga could change. Uh, again, uh, 
global logistics and container shipments and all that are always a uh, kind of a wild card. But that's the current date. We'll update you every uh, every Wednesday on where it's at. Uh, T5, we talked about that a little bit. That's another 540 bikes. Uh, for you people who are Shopify orders, um, about 200 of those are actually going to be Shopify fulfillment because, again, we're getting to the point where uh, the overlap between Indiegogo and Shopify gets pretty significant. So of those 540 baby makers, about 200 are allocated to Shopify by date. What Shopify? Shopify is the FLX... Uh, website, shopping cart, I know. It's, yes. Thank yeah. you. I do that every single time. Website. Website, yes. Yep. Website purchases versus Indiegogo purchases. Uh, so those will, uh, let's see, we put out that. Actually, we put out the uh, Indiegogo allocation letters went out yesterday. So if you got those, uh, an allocation letter yesterday, that is, uh, that is T5. And, uh, Again, the, the Shopify allocation letters will go out yet this week, either between probably either tomorrow or Friday. So you'll be getting notification of that. So if you're adding all that up, 800, 1,872 bikes on the water right now. Uh, some of them closer than others, but that's how many are on the move. So we've got some new ones. Uh, C19, container 19. Uh, not a ton of baby makers, only 117, but the exciting piece of that is 700 touring kits are in that container. That's waiting to load in China right now. So we uh, we don't know the ship yet. Uh, I don't have it confirmed, but uh, that's waiting to load. But it has a tentative arrival of 516 is what we're looking at. Mid, Mid-May on that for those baby makers and the uh, touring kits. And also another one, T6 from our other factory, uh, 450 baby makers. Those are going, going to go to port 420, uh, 424, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on those. Hopefully that should be on, a, on board a ship next week sometime. And No, that's not right. No, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. 420. C20 will be on the board next week. So we have another container coming up. Uh, should be able to brief you on that one and give you updates on all of those. So lots of lots of bikes coming, and uh, again, 700 touring kits. So if you've been waiting for your touring kit, uh, that should fulfill pretty much. I think everything we've got right now, or bikes fulfilled. So we'll get you if you got a bike and you're waiting for your touring kit. It is coming. Oh yeah, is that everything? Oh no, that's just all right. Yes, Canada. <laughs> He's got me on a time slot. I'm kind of on a short leash here. All right, you, uh, Europe and UK. So, talked about UK 188 bikes. Those are have have been uh, at uh, at Peterborough in the uh, at the fulfillment center. 69 of those have have moved out. Some of you may start seeing those as early as this week. Uh, delivery. Uh, we're watching Facebook. Hopefully, someone posts up with a picture of uh, of their baby maker soon. Uh, NL3, which is the next one going to the Netherlands. I think we had somebody ask about just getting in France, just getting notification. Uh, those will uh, those are going out on this Friday. So that's trucking out of Spain on Friday, early next week. Should get intaked in, in, in took taken in at our Netherlands fulfillment center. See if it happens with Mountain Dew, um, and then after that we'll we'll start shipping those out. That's like the seven to fourteen days. We did so. We're going to make a change. One of the things we did do is uh, we were going to follow NL three with NL four and then UK two, but we've decided we're going to flip those two in terms of the shipment. So UK two will go out after uh, NL3 and then NL4 will come after that. So the reason we did that was there's kind of a high commonality between uh, between UK2 and, uh, and NL3. So what we decided to do was build NL3 and then just keep on building and similar bikes into, into UK2 as opposed to shutting that down and starting to build a different group of bikes for NL4. So that's why we decided to flip that. That UK2 tentatively should ship out 100 plus bikes out of Spain on 423 is the goal. NL4 target is a week later on 430. 
So we got we got bikes moving and the production rates are coming up. They now have a sixth person in Spain working. So we went from four to five to now six, and that's a permanent person. So we are a permanent headcount addition. So we should uh, we should see production numbers stay up. The oh, I didn't bring it with me. Uh, LVL low volume locations. We got the charge adapters into China. I was, I was gonna bring one in and show you what it looked like, the little thing that was holding us up. So we have that ready to pack up along with all of the uh, people who bought spare batteries. We're shipping out kind of a, a, a small test of, of two bikes to Japan and then China and Hong Kong. Those should be moving hopefully this week and in, or early next week. And then uh, we're going to do the Taiwan and Korea labels next, get those moving. And following that will be Singapore, and Malaysia, and Indonesia, uh, along with Australia and New Zealand. So the thing we're working out right now is figuring out we have one bike to go to New Zealand as, as well as some touring kits. We're trying to figure out do we direct ship those or do we kind of... Uh, piggyback those with the Australia ship and then move them over from New Zealand to Australia. So we're a little logistics, uh, you know, stuff that we're working through to figure out how exactly we're going to move those. That's it. That's it. Wow. That is it. Man, that was fast today, Troy. You got time for some Q&A, don't yeah, you? see. All right, cool. It's a Mountain Dew effect. It's a Mountain Dew. You know what I'm having? This is what I call it, L-I-I-G-T. It's ice green tea. And liquid IV, liquid IV, ice green okay. tea, L I I G T. Okay. Oh, it's perfect for a lot. Well, those are actually pretty good. I don't drink Mountain Dew. You get hydrated, caffeinated, hydrogenated, everything you need. Or you could just drink coffee. Yeah, Troy makes some mean coffee. All right. Um, from Ray for Troy, mm -hmm. my baby maker is in C eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any way of telling ballpark how far behind the touring package will follow after my baby maker delivers in late April, early May? Thanks. So your touring package is most likely in, uh, we talked about container 19. So that is, again, tentative date for that to get here is mid-May. So once it gets through the intake process, processed through and shipped out, you're probably looking at the end of May. Again, the, the mid-May is tentative. Again, with some of these sh ships, we never know how long they're going to sit, uh, sit waiting for a berth at a port. Totally. Lots of variables. Well, we'll, we'll update those. Uh, you, you can't see it here, obviously. I have a huge whiteboard uh, that, that goes down the entire wall, all the containers, all the statuses, and we are updating that literally daily. So we, we know where stuff is. Uh, we come in here and try and give you guys as much information so you know what's going on. It's massive. Troy loves his spreadsheets. He's got every day dual monitors, all spreadsheets, and that wasn't enough. He had to paint a spreadsheet on the wall, That's right. giant one. It's great. All right, um, and guys, I'm just going to find questions for Troy in these, and then I'll come back to the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, Malcolm, all the production updates from Banyoles have only shown Sterling, Matt Black, and Tangerine. Where are the Kiwi Berry and Blue Raspberry frames? Uh, they're on the build, actually. They should be, I, if I'm, I'm trying to remember now, they're either in UK... Two or NL4 or maybe both. I'm trying to remember, but yeah, there's there are blue coming up. Uh, everything's everything's going to get built. I thought we had pictures of kiwi in one of those pictures. No, kiwi didn't come up, but um, had. berry and blue raspberry. I haven't I haven't seen in those production. No, you have not seen before. those. The the blue raspberry yeah. is coming up, and the berry is actually we did ship a couple of berries. We had some sitting from from previous from a previous build, and those actually went in UK once. So there's actually berry-colored uh, bikes going to, uh, that are actually already uh, in in uh, the UK waiting for fulfillment. Sweet. Cool. All right. Um, from SIB, S -I -B, any scope uh, for a gesture of goodwill to soften the blow of extra VAT costs for UK riders due to the Spain chaos? So what we are doing there, Troy, Troy mentioned it before, we can't, unfortunately, pay the VAT for you. That is something required by the government and in the campaign. It is listed in the campaign that the buyer is responsible for any you know, extra tax duties, etc. But um, just due to the slowness of getting those bikes to the UK, what we're doing is moving around two shipments so that we can get a few more bikes to the UK sooner. So next week, instead of a fourth shipment to the EU, 
We're going to send a second shipment to right. the UK instead, right. and then we'll go back to the EU after that. Normally, it's a two-to-one ratio, but we figured we'd catch UK up a little bit more. All right. Um, Chris Link, 88, just want to know when LVL country shipment will be complete. He's asking about Indonesia. Any idea on that? Uh, so that one is next up. I'm going to guess, I'm hoping those are all going to be shipping in the next couple of weeks. Next couple of weeks. Yes. Sweet. So those are all, all built, right? Beautiful. Yeah, again, we were waiting for this little, and I forgot to bring in my prop, but this little charge uh, connector for people who bought the, the spare batteries. And the way we're doing those, we didn't want to kind of, we didn't want to fulfill them later. We wanted to ship everything at one time for those countries. Beautiful. For those locations. All right, I'll, I'll answer this one while you're here, Troy. From Lisa, hey, Rob, you say one minute it's a realistic date, but then a few minutes later say it's tight for the U.K., and EU overpromising is not good. I I hear you on that, Lisa, and, and maybe Troy can speak to my estimates here. Somebody had asked me, is July 31st realistic? Or no, he said July 31st is not realistic. Based on the current build speed, uh, it is realistic and it is tight yeah. in the EU and UK, like we said. Yeah. You know, if nothing goes wrong, if it all goes all according right. to plan, we'll pretty much be right up at the end of that right. deadline delivering all the bikes. But if something happens, uh, you know, it could push past a little bit. So that's the best of the information we know at this point. If I knew more than that, I'd certainly tell you that. Yeah, it's tight and it's realistic. I mean, if it were unrealistic, then it wouldn't be tight. It'd be impossible. So, uh, yeah, I mean, execution has to take place. Absolutely. That's, it's, the plan is laid out there, and it is a tight plan. It is a realistic plan. It's not going to be easy, but, uh, but it can certainly be done. Hell yeah. We're working our butts off, Lisa, to get you those Absolutely. bikes. It is, it's realistic. It's possible. Uh, it's, not, it's not guaranteed to, ha to happen based on, you know, something could happen between now and then. But uh, it's, looking, it's looking pretty good right now. It's tight. But we're working hard to make it happen. All right, Luca, just got my address confirmation. I'm so excited. Does it mean that the bike is already built? Do you think it will be part of the next EU shipment? Thank you in advance. Luca in the EU. If you got an address confirmation that, and you're in the EU, that is part of NL3. That's part of the truck that is leaving on uh, on Friday. Hell yeah. So you're just a couple weeks away, probably yep. between it's, it's 14, 20 days, maybe sooner. Connie, got Connie about the Blade 2. Your comment disappeared there. Uh, where is it? There it is. Just wanted to make sure if I started my Harley in six gear, I wouldn't get out of the driveway. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. you don't need to start the blade in first gear. It's more you know, third, fourth, fifth, depending on uh, how you ride. All right, Alphonse, any word on T3 and T4 if they dock on 426? When will tracking be ex be expected to be sent out? Okay, so T... T3 and T4 are different. Okay, so T, uh, T3 is the one... That is the one that's sitting off of the, the coast right now, waiting to, to berth at either LA or Long Beach. T4 is, uh, that actually is coming along, and about 425 is, is that's the current estimate. I Again, it'd be about 10 days after that before it would actually clear customs and move. So those are two different ones. So T3, yeah, that should, hopefully that's gonna berth soon. I was looking, the traffic isn't that terribly bad at uh, LA and Long Beach, if you look at the harbor and how many boats are sitting, it's, I would say, low average for what it normally is. So hopefully that's going to berth soon. And then, uh, but T4 is, like I said, that's due current estimate 425, but then you probably got another 10 days plus for that to actually get docked and, and clear customs. So you're looking at early May on that one. Sweet. All right. That was my pen. Quite Question about UK VAT. We made our contribution while still within the EU. So technically, we should have our contribution locked to pre-Brexit tariffs and prices. Why do we have to pay VAT for something that was bought pre-Brexit? Thoughts on that? I, I'm just following the rules that I'm told. I'm not an expert on, 
on international taxes and things like that. But my understanding is, is that that has to be collected. Yeah. So, I mean, if there was any way to, to not do that, we certainly, we certainly would. Unfortunately, the UK government, um, it's a law now, uh, I guess voters voted the Brexit in, I don't understand a lot about that, what, five years ago or so? Yeah, five years ago, June, is my, yeah, is if my recollection is good. So the economic impact of that uh, in regards to taxes, et cetera, just, just took place. So unfortunately, we've got no control over that, but the duties are responsibility of the buyer. And unfortunately, the UK government is asking for those in this case. Kiwi production in Spain, that's been ongoing, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Rascal. I'm going to see if there's any more questions for you. I can take a look and come back and answer some of these, I've, All right. as I've done before, if you wish. Um, let's see. So he's asking about the T4C18 MSC. It's Aresia. Aresia. I'm, Arig I'm sorry, not Aresia. Ariga. A U R I G A. Ariga. So, Vesselfinder.com. You can you can track these ships. So don't panic. It hasn't reported its location in about six days or something like that. So it's well out to sea. It was still showing in the in the China Sea, but it hasn't reported location Dang. in six days. So it's it's well out to sea. Sweet. Okay, here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. Question for Troy, if a container shipment leaves the port in T3 and I have a second bike in T4, how long will it take to ship out to me and when will the tracking be updated? Those are on the same ship, right? Uh, no, T3 and T4 are on separate ships. T2 okay. and T3 are on, on, that's the one we just talked about. So T2, T3 is setting off, off the coast right now. T4 is the one that's currently going to show up late April. And again, it'll have to dock and birth. So, uh, you will get actually address confirmations for those effective T2 and T3. You already got your address confirmation. So the next thing you will get uh, from us would be a on T on the T3 ship uh, bike is the uh, the tracking notification come out on T4. You would uh, get the uh, tracking no or the address notification or verification would come out uh, this Friday. So you'll update that. And the next notification you'll get on that would be would be uh, actual tracking from from FedEx that the bike has shipped. And in the meantime, we'll we'll keep you up to date. We we kind of say you know what's here and what's not. Right now we have no containers at FedEx. We've we've brought in everything and we've shipped everything out. So uh, we have a few uh, odds and ends for bikes that we're fulfilling uh, to fill in some some uh, shipping shortages and things like that. But right now we have no containers to unpack and ship. Awesome. All right. Um, I've got a tax question for you, your favorite. Northern Ireland is UK, but is still within the European single market and wasn't affected by Brexit in this way. Does that mean no VAT charge for Northern Ireland people? Do you know anything about that? That's my understanding because Northern Ireland, I thought uh, we were going to fulfill uh, the Northern Ireland out of the UK, but as it turns out, we're not uh, Northern Ireland and Ireland. I saw a question about that before will both be fulfilled out of the Netherlands. Okay. All right, great. Troy knows more than I do, so I won't chime in about that at well, all. About a few things. A few things. Just taxes, really. <laughs> and making coffee. Um, any news for shipments to Cyprus? Uh, Cyprus will ship with, with the rest of uh, European orders. In fact, I, we've already, I think we delivered a I'm trying to remember but yeah you'll those will be fulfilled with the with the rest of the uh eu so you know we talked about eu but actually it's it's europe minus the uk so i mean we have i think we have a bike in estonia uh i don't think that's part of the eu sorry if i, I don't mean to offend anybody uh, but we have bikes in switzerland which i know is not in the eu uh, but when we talk about eu we're talking about all of europe minus minus the uk awesome all right, Troy, uh, last question. This is one from earlier I forgot yep. to ask you about. Uh, have all the components arrived to Banyoles for EU and UK builds, or will there be future shipments after that last one that shipped out? 
Uh, oh, in terms of incoming material. To yeah. Ban- yeah. No, there's there's uh, additional containers that are coming. Got it. Yep. All right. Sweet. All right. That's that's everything. Sarah's going to come in here. Troy, thank you so much for the update. Really appreciate I'll the hard work. I'll keep an eye on it. I can come back if Behind you want the scenes. me to answer any of these tough questions that you can't or won't handle. All right. All right. I'll give you a shout. Thanks, Troy. Big round of applause. All right, I did skip a bunch of questions that were not Troy related. Wow, I'm getting some noise on that microphone. Sorry for the noise on the microphone if you guys hear that. All right, I'm going to try and answer all the questions we missed here. So give me a sec to look at where we left off. Okay, DS, about the diameter of the bolt that goes through the rear wheel. I don't have that offhand, um, but please email our support team, support at flx.bike. They'll be able to find that out for you and get it for you. Chris, great to see you on the live again. And it looks like we got most of these. Alphonse asks, are those t-shirts the new FLX uniform? They, they're slowly becoming the FLX uniform. I believe Troy's wearing a fresh, clean tee. Those are sweet t-shirts. Um, and mine might be as well. I forget. All right, Sarah, what's going on? Hey, what's up, Rob? Got a new visitor. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm good. I am tired, but I am good. Why are you so tired? I got up super early. For? Um, to be out of the house before the construction workers got there. <laughs> oh, man. How's Randy doing? He's good. And who's Randy? Randy is our office dog. He's in the back. He's, he's sitting back there distracting everybody. Not he's really. adorable. <laughs> All right. How's the service load been the last week? Um, we've been getting a lot more emails now that the UK orders are going out. So a lot of, um, that questions, tax questions, all that, but it's been okay. Totally. So how's it work with the VAT, uh, deliveries once they pay their VAT? So once you pay your VAT, um, we will be shipping the ones out from the UK one container, hopefully as soon as as this weekend um, or sometime the beginning of next week, mid next week, but have to pay those first before we send them. Awesome. I think Troy just mentioned the first uh, 60 or so are going out. Mm -hmm. They've been paid. They're going out like today or tomorrow. Yeah. So um, we're hopeful that uh, they'll be there sometime next week. Super exciting. So most common questions are about VAT? At the moment, yes. And we also just sent out, I think, 20 reminders to people who haven't paid yet. So we sent them a little nudge to let them know. So hopefully we can get those out this weekend too. Awesome. How are the where my bike, where's my bike questions? Um, at the moment, that's kind of slowed down, but I think it's because I've noticed in our updates, we've improved with the information that we're sending out. So I think we're getting less questions there, which has been really great. Awesome. So we, we, do, we totally listen to you guys. Um, you know, we're doing the best we can in terms of the information we're giving out. There are a lot of variables in the process that we just don't know about yet. So... We give everything we've got. All right, let's see if there's any questions coming out for Sarah. Alphonse asks, how come you don't have a red t-shirt? What's up with that? Because Troy and I are both wearing red V-necks. Oh. No way. My shirt is red. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's hilarious. All right, um, where's your baby maker? It hasn't arrived yet, and I actually am not, Troy told me which container it was in, but I don't want to ask him, I forget which one it was, and I don't want to keep bugging him really? about it. How, how far out is it? Um, I think it's supposed to be delivered next month, maybe? Next month? Yep. Awesome. So I'll be right at a, right almost out of year. Dang, a year. 
No special treatment for Sarah even. No. <laughs> she does work her ass off though for, for the company. She's the leader of the writer support team. How is uh how's the management role treating you? Um, I mean, I really enjoy it. I, f- I feel like I wasn't in a management role before, but I feel like not a ton has changed since then just because I've been here the longest. So a lot of the questions came to me anyways, mm-hmm. but I enjoy it. I enjoy the scheduling part of it and just all of it. Are you excited to finish delivering all these baby makers? Yes. Yes. Very excited. I kind of forget what it was like to work here before the baby maker because we've been doing baby so much baby maker stuff and that's like... I would say 70% of my day every mm-hmm. day. So I forget what it's like to not have that there. Awesome. What's your favorite color baby maker? Like favorite uh, writer photo that you've seen in the group? Um, my favorite baby maker color is definitely the matte black. Um, I think the coolest picture it was the one that we talked about that one time. It was sitting up on like that ledge and it had that beautiful orange building in the back. Uh-huh. I think we featured it on one of the um, newsletters. But I mean, I've seen a lot of really awesome pictures. Like in Europe, right? The mm-hmm. Yeah, with that buildings. back. Oh, Super and remember cool. that GIF that I sent you of the bike on the ferry with in Sydney with the opera house in the background? Mm-hmm. The background? That one was really cool too. Yeah, that one's really cool. All right, Dominic asks, what are you guys doing at the FLX HQ with the California COVID protocols? I don't see masks, et cetera. So we have um, a pretty small office. There's not a ton of us here. Um, Our desks are spread out, which is good. Um, We allow very flexible with um, sick days. So if anyone's feeling under the weather, we have them stay home. Um, Of course, like washing hands. When we have our morning meetings, we keep distance there. And thankfully, a lot of us in the office are actually vaccinated. So super cool. Did you get yours? No, I didn't get mine. I didn't get mine either. Gianni, my girlfriend ordered a 19 inch pro pink uppers two weeks prior to me. I received the uh, allocation letter yesterday. Will she receive hers this week? Um, If she ordered, uh, she probably, if she hasn't gotten her allocation letter yet, she probably won't get it this week. Um, We try and ship orders um, as closely uh, um, as far as like their order date. So first come, first served thing. But that totally depends on the configuration. So as soon as your girlfriend gets her allocation letter, it should be about two weeks after that. Awesome. Mark says when he gets his baby maker, he's going to post a picture in Monterey, California. Oh, awesome. That's beautiful there. Have you been? Me? No. Yeah. Somebody, FLX bike wrote, we splash a lot of water all over the counter washing our hands so frequently. (laughs) I I bet that was Kaylee. (laughs) Oh, man. You'll have to tell the water story one day. Uh, The countertop story. It's a touchy subject around here. Oh, man. (laughs) If somebody splashes water on the countertop, I'll lose my shit. It's hilarious. It's like Rob's pet peeve. So there's um, one of the bathrooms in the office it's really easy to like splash water all over the place. And since I've started working here, I'm saying from day one, it's always in the group chat where Rob's like, okay, whoever you need to clean up afterwards, this isn't a water park. And so from when I started, every time I go in there, if I see any water on the countertop, I immediately clean it up just so Rob doesn't see it. And I had been doing that for years and I'd never said anything to him about it. Now it's an inside joke. If there's any water on the countertop, everyone teases Rob about it. Thank you, Sarah. (laughs) Taking one for the team. I, I just don't get it. There's one hole for the water to go in. Just put it in there. Well, it's when, when you are done rinsing your hands, uh, people lift them up, and it's like the drip, and there's so many yeah. people in and out. I guess. There's a lot of dripping. I I see people are washing their hands like this well, t- with like T-Rex arms. <laughs> All right, Sarah, that's, that's everything. I'll let you get back to work, and I'll handle the rest of these okay, questions. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Big round of applause. All right, I skipped a bunch of questions again, just Sarah questions, so let me find where we were at, and then uh, Ben's going to come in here in a few minutes. All right. Um, Give me one sec to find out where we were, where we were, t-shirts, the uniform, I think that was the last one. What's up, Ben? How's it going? How you doing? How's it going? All right. Let's Everybody? just 
This is Ben. Oh, microphone. You want to grab that? Yep. Testing one, two, three. Ben, how's your day? Oh, it's been going excellent. Halfway through the week already. It's flying by. Hell yeah. I've been teasing everybody about finishing these questions. So you want to just alternate? We'll, we'll handle one at a time. Cool. Back and forth. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Dude, you sound awesome on this microphone because you sound amazing on that one. We got the new one now. You want to try it out? Oh, yeah. This is your DJ FM dial. Welcome to 103 FLX. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. All right. Um, okay. Graham, I'll get this one. I'll give you the next one, okay? Cool. Europe at 22% and UK only at 14%. So why did you go back to Europe bikes? Can you tell me what number I am in? UK sale, i.e. number one, etc. So Graham, um, we did ship two. We're shipping in a two-to-one ratio between Europe and the UK because there's twice as many bikes ordered in Europe. However, due to the slow uh, shipment in the UK and also the VAT hit, uh, what we've done is rearranged the next two shipments. So U EU is going out this Friday. There's one shipment going there. And then instead of another one going to EU, we're going to ship the next one to the UK. And then we'll go back to the original plan after that. So we're bumping up a UK shipment by one week, swapping it with a EU shipment. I can't tell you exactly what no order number you are within those shipments, uh, but please keep an eye out on your uh, email because we'll be sending you an email once it does get allocated. All right. Cool. John, I'm going to go ahead and hit your question. If you don't receive a notification letter this week, when will the next batch of letters go out? Um, right now we're looking to send out those allocation notifications that, that doesn't mean, Hey, your bike's on its way. It means, Hey, we expect to have yours delivered by X amount of time. Those typically have about a three week period in between. However, the factories have been ramping up. So, uh, I would give it about three weeks before um, you should really be concerned at all. Again, we're not only uh, letting you guys know when your bike's ready to ship, but even before then, we try and give you a, a one to two month buffer of about when you can expect it. So, you know, I know you're super anxious to get that. So just be patient with us. And as soon as we know something and we're comfortable enough that that information is relatively accurate, we're gonna send it off and let you know. Awesome. All right, um, Mark, Mark, someday you'll get the mic. He said he's, he'll be posting from, uh, was it Santa Cruz? No, Monterey, Monterey. All right, MPF, what about the letters that went out today in the U.S. Indiegogo? What T number is that? I believe that's T5. T5, right? Mm -hmm. It should yeah, be. should be T5. Um, Nilesh Troy answered that. It's Auriga. A U R I G A, I believe. Chris, are you both going to celebrate Chinese New Year's with those red T-shirts? <laughs> Troy and I in the matching shirts. Yep, uh, Zach, I can take yours. What configs are coming out? Uh, it it is a a pretty big mix uh, of configurations going to the United Kingdom. Again, like Rob said, um, we're doing a big shipment there, and we're trying to hit as many as we can. So whereas a lot of the other countries were doing a smaller number of configurations, but you know, 200 something bikes per with the UK, because it takes a special shipment, we're trying to get as many as we can in the order that you purchase. There will be some discrepancies there, but there are a lot of configurations going out. Awesome. Lisa says, hurrah, great news, Troy. I hope the Sterling Standard Bullhorns are included in UK too. I believe she's talking about these swap in those containers. Glad you're happy about that, Lisa, and I hope I hope your bike is in there. If not, I hope it's coming up very soon. Um, all right, Jeff says, uh, first of all, congratulating Rob. He's doing a great job. Uh, <laughs> uh, second part of that question is, if you ordered a second baby maker today for the U.S., what is expected ETA? Um, if you were to place a an order right now, uh, the end of July is your estimated time for delivery. Uh, as we get closer, just like everyone else, we'll be able to send out those notifications with a more accurate time, but a good estimation for right now is late July. Great. I would say I would say summer on that just to just to leave a little bit to, to chance. Yeah. I think that is that what the website says or does it say July? Uh, I think 
I think the website just says July right now. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. So yeah, summer around then. Cool. So we do finish uh, all the pre-orders uh, July 31st, and then once all those are delivered, that's when current orders go out. But we keep adding those basically to our our build sheet, so it's kind of a moving target. All right. Um, Alphonse, I believe we answered that with Troy in there. Elliot, hi guys, I didn't or originally order the touring package, but I'm considering getting one now. About how long would it take to get just that Sterling if it matters? Um, Elliot, I can actually jump on that one for you. Uh, our big push right now, um, as you guys know, is the bikes, but we have started sending out those accessories as far as chargers, extra battery, and touring kits go. Our focus will still be on getting people um, with bikes who are waiting their accessories. Uh, so if you were to place an order now, hopefully within the next uh, four to eight weeks, we should have some extras. But when we do, we're going to send out a big email notifying you guys to visit our site when we do have those uh, available to order as a standalone item. But right now, again, we're trying to fulfill everything that's been purchased via Indiegogo um, or Shopify during that campaign period. And then we're soon going to list everything else. Awesome. All right, uh, Beefies. Hey, FLX, is there any way we can get an order number to look up on the site so we can at least see where our orders are in the process of completion? Can't wait. So there is an order number associated with your order. If you go on Indiegogo or our website, you'll be able to log in just using the email you use to make your purchase. That will show your order number and also what status it's in, uh, whether it's been fulfilled or not. Typically, we do notify you by email before that status will even change. So email is going to be the fastest way to get the info. And the soonest status change you'll see is the allocation letter, which means your bike's built and and we've allocated that bike to your order. And that's when we give you base, a basic estimate of when it will come. Um, this one we answer from Rigo. Okay, good. Um, Andy, I believe we got... Uh, Jan says, thanks for the estimate. Even if it turns out to be wrong, it's better than no information on a delivery date. Thank you, Jan. And again, we're giving you guys all the information we know. If we had a crystal ball and could tell you everything that will happen in the future, um, we would certainly tell you that, but it's everything <laughs> we know. What we do know for sure is that we will deliver your bike. Uh, it's going to be as fast as humanly possible. So hang tight on that. The exact delivery date up in the air a little bit, but it should be for the vast, vast majority of everybody before July 31st. Possibly everybody. Uh, it is tight again in EU and UK. Ray says, did Jason get a helmet or get a speeding ticket or a one for not wearing a helmet? I believe it was for the helmet, but you're right. We do only have one of him, so we need him to suit up. Uh, potentially, you know, riding the blade, you can get to the speeds up to 40 miles an hour, so maybe even a leather motorcycle jacket would be a nice accessory for him. Yeah, he's he's doing speeds up there, 53, 54 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, he's nuts. cruising. On the blade, too. No helmet either. Not recommended, but, you know, he is taking responsibility for his act, own actions. So if he gets hurt, it's on him. Uh, I believe we answered all these. Uh, Mr. Yuchi, I've just paid my UK VAT yesterday and the email said my bike is already in the UK. What's my delivery date looking like? So as far as those go, uh, when you when you pay the VAT, the carrier is going to get a little notification. So you two to three business days, that bike will be ready to move out. Um, they are constantly monitoring them and are on hold. So again, as soon as you pay it, that's going to get the ball rolling. Uh, we haven't really seen too many delays with that, too. So as soon as you pay, it's it's pretty much ready to roll. Awesome. Gianni said he received his allocation letter yesterday for delivery to the U.S. Is my bike on T5? My bikes are 19-inch uppers, hot pink and black. And what's the name of the ship? Thank you. So, Gianni, uh, typically we'll send one letter per bike. So I don't want, want to get your hopes up thinking it's both bikes unless you receive two letters. If you received one letter, it's probably just one of those. And if it went out yesterday, it is T5, I believe. Okay. 
All right. Emerald Citizen, thanks for the answers on the VAT question. Still stoked from a bike to arrive here in Aberdeen. Thank you, Emerald Citizen, for being uh, being so understanding. Uh, we're doing everything we can here. You know, things come up like the VAT, unfortunately, out of our control. That's the UK government uh, doing that. So we appreciate you being cool about it and stoked to get you the bike. Yeah, and just to jump on that real quick before I go, um, like Rob mentioned, this this whole thing has been a process. So, you know, we've been kind of dealing with problems as I come in, crafting solutions and that sort of thing. And I just wanted to take a quick second to thank you guys for all your feedback. Uh, I know a lot of you are regulars on these lives. I've seen you in the Facebook posts and as well as read a lot of your tickets you're submitting. So that not only helps uh, us here do our jobs, but moving forward, we know the kind of content you're looking for, You know what you guys are really attracted to. So just wanna take a second and thank you guys for all your feedback. That really helps us do our jobs even better. So thank you. Hell yeah, awesome. Let me find you one more question, Ben. All right, one more, one more before I go. All right. Let's see here. Let's find a new one. See if anybody's got got them direct for you. Scrolling through. Dang, you guys have been busy on here. Yeah, right? Yeah, they're all pretty random questions. I can handle. I can handle these. Okay. All right. How's your work been? Uh, it's been good. It's been good. Now that um, we've had so many bikes moving out, I've shifted a little bit more into the content side of things. You've probably seen me in an updated assembly video, uh, how to use your LCD, um, and then we have a whole bunch more on the back burner right now that are being edited and ready to publish. Uh, and it's not just for you baby maker guys, we have a lot of blade content coming out, trail content coming out. So it's been nice to, to uh, get back into those things and give you guys that content that you want. Hell yeah. Ben, uh, Ben's coming out with some ridiculous content lately and a lot of that, you know, just to answer everybody's questions. So if you do have questions about the bikes, about baby makers, how to pimp them out, how to do certain functions on them or any bike or our new bikes coming out, the weapon, let us know and Ben will be on that. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Awesome, Ben. Thanks so much. Big round of applause. Okay, I think I know where we left off this time. And that humming sound went away. It must have been some interference. Great. All right, Malcolm said, if uh, July 31st, realistic, all components must now be in Banyoles. We answered that with Troy, so uh, not quite. There's a container arriving soon, and then more will be on the way. Joe uh, joined late. How do we find out what ship our bike is on? Uh, Joe, once it gets allocated, you'll get an allocation letter from us. And then in the Indiegogo updates uh, that we publish every Tuesday, there is a section called Global Shipping Status. That will have a list with the container name and the date that the allocation letters went out. If you match that up to the container, you'll see which container you're on. John McKenzie, when are the tour packages going to be shipped to Canada? I believe we're shipping those out already. Um, I don't have a, you know exact date or numbers on that. That is a, a detail for the uh, logistics team, but I think we've already been shipping those out. Uh, Chris, Rob, one of my friends interested in the baby maker after I showed the picture to him. And he wants to try it after they arrive. If he likes it, he plans to order 15 bikes from me. Hope it will happen. That's awesome, Chris. Well, your bike should be going out soon, so let us know how he likes it. Andy says, you're like politicians, not answering the prior questions on UK VAT. When we contributed, we were told delivery September, then October, then November, etc. No VAT would be due in January. That changed. Uh, Andy, I'm, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Uh, that's not my intention at all. 
the dates that we gave when the uh, when the project was launched, those are estimates because the bikes have not been built. And unfortunately, that's the best that we can do is give estimates based on what we know at the time. What we didn't know is that there would be a massive component shortage due to the entire bicycle industry blowing up due to COVID. So we gave estimates and uh, they're, they're not firm dates in any way because there's no way for us to predict uh, exactly how it will go down. So we did... Uh, go past the estimates for the majority of orders. A lot of them shipped out before estimates, believe it or not, but most of them are shipping out after the estimates. So apologies on that. Um, the VAT, again, we, do, we don't have control over that. That's something the UK government is charging. We wish they didn't. I'm, all, I, I'm not big on taxes myself. I like low taxes, and unfortunately, that's not what's happening in the UK. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. If we could have uh, got those to you earlier, we certainly would have. Zach, if Northern Ireland orders are being fulfilled through the Netherlands, does that mean Northern Ireland orders will not be fulfilled by Tufnells? Who is fulfilling orders in Ireland? Zach, that's a good question. Um, so it will be sent by the Netherlands. The exact carrier I do not have. Um, UK, just England should be tough nails. And then Northern Ireland, I'm not sure the carrier on that. But those will be going for, from the Netherlands. All right, we got most of these questions when Sarah was in here. Okay, Phil, for UK VAT, please, can you ensure you give the cost in pounds sterling, not dollars? Any account name helps the bank check the account number is a match to avoid mistakes. Hey, Phil, great suggestion. So the first VAT letters that went out for the UK did have just dollars on them. We've gone back, um, thanks to your guys' feedback on that, uh, and I believe we've resent them with both dollars and pounds on them. So all future ones will, have, uh, will certainly have pounds on them and noted on the account name. I'm, do, I'm gonna copy your message and send that to our logistics team. Dominic says, no vaccine. Not for me, I like to keep it organic. Um, I don't take medicine unless I'm sick. I'll let everybody else test it out first. Jeffrey says he feels the same about the water stains all over the sink and the faucet. Yeah, it annoys the hell out of me. I'm always like, I'll put my elbow down or stick my phone down. It'll be soaking, soaking wet afterwards. Alex, is Switzerland getting the 350 watt motor for the Babymaker Pro? So Alex, uh, all the bikes built in Spain have the 250 watt motor. However, um, you know, that's just for EU regula regulations. If you compare them side by side, you'd be hard pressed to find any difference at all between that and the US motor. You will be able to tweak the speed in the display to comply with your local regulations. Alphonse says Rob goes into the ladies' room. Uh, there is no ladies', ladies room here, there's two unisex bathrooms. Oh, man, these comments are funny. Dominic says, it's 2021. You can identify as anything nowadays. All right. Malcolm, given how long it took the first batches of components to clear Spanish customs, I'm surprised at your 31 July confidence. Uh, thank you, Malcolm. A good point. Uh, now we do have boots on the ground in Spain uh, communicating with customs basically every day. So we do have a better handle on that now. So we'll keep the pressure on and uh, keep you guys updated as well if anything's changed or slowed down in Spain. All right, Malcolm Sher Shergenor. Given how, uh, oh, just got that one. 
Dominic, Rob, I love the Instagram post every morning about the daily news. So great. LOL. Thank you, Dominic. I'm, I'm glad you liked the joke. Uh, the jokes, not everybody has liked them. Uh, part of our joke writing challenge. The point of that is just I want to be able to write some jokes into our, our videos that we make for you guys just to make them a little bit more, more interesting. So even the whole team's got on that with a weekly joke competition. But I've had a bit of writer's block the past couple of weeks. Too much work going on. Uh, last, how is it going with drop bars in Spain? Didn't see them in the production footage. Nice job, you guys. Hey, thank you very much, Lass. Uh, drop bars are also being built in Spain. I'm going to check our latest footage um, after this and see, and see if we do have some footage or images of that to share in the next update. Paul, I ordered mine in June 2020. When do you think I will hear something? So, Paul, um, we've set a, a deadline of July 31st to deliver pretty much all the baby makers. So be, sometime between now and then, you should be getting an allocation letter letting you know that your bike is shipped. Unfortunately, we can't tell you exactly when that will be until it's actually built and allocated to you. So please hang tight. There are hundreds more going out this week and next week and uh, thousands over the next uh, couple months here. Sue says, UK bikes, any more costs with Brexit as we ordered a year before Brexit and shouldn't have to pay any extra tariff. Thanks, Sue. Sue, I, I understand, and that's been a, a common request here. Unfortunately, we, we can't um, control what the UK government is asking for there. Uh, my understanding is that Brexit did happen or was voted on five years or so, five about five years ago. Now they've just implemented the economic impact of that uh, in regards to tariffs. So unfortunately, bad timing there. And I'm sorry about the the taxes. If we could change them, we certainly would. Nilesh, pa patience is the key. It all works out at the end. Thanks for the candid updates. Thank you, Nilesh. Really appreciate it. And the patience as well. It's been a lesson in patience for everybody here as well. Sometimes we're pulling our hair, our hair out with what's been going on, waiting on customs especially, but uh, we're getting through it and delivering all these bikes. Ding says, how many bikes do you expect to be dispatched on UK2, please, Rob? I think we're going to see over 100, Ding. Um, we do now have six people on the line, up from four, so we got an extra one last week, an extra one this week. Now we're up to six, so speed's picking up there, and we should see over 100 in UK2. Mark says July 31st would be 11 months, so I guess not as bad of a wait as some others. Yes, correct. Paul, June 2020 order, QB19, East Coast, Connecticut. Oh, just retracted the message. Any info? So, Paul, again, can't give you an exact date on that, but please hang tight for the allocation letter. William, I received my estimated arrival email here in Canada on March 19th. It said delivery for late April, early May. Should I be receiving the address confirmation email soon? Is that scheduling still good? Um, so let's see, March 19th. I'm going to see if I can match that up to a container here real quick. Um, no, I don't see it in the update. Canada. No, I don't see that. Um, but yeah, we do. So we do send out the allocation letter. The shipping confirmation, uh, those are two that go out before your bike is sent out. And then once it's sent out, you will also get a tracking number. So keep an eye out for both of those emails. One, uh, the shipping address. If you do have a change in your shipping, shipping address, you can also just contact us directly, support at flx.bike, and we can get that change in for you. You do have to do it before your bike ships out, though. Jeffrey says, Ben, we want to see more iPhone pics of the baby makers. Yeah, that was a great video they made, wasn't it? Emerald Citizen, Ben has a real radio DJ voice, should have his own show. Damn, I missed all these comments with Ben was in here. 
Mr. YouTube, what's the password for FLX Zendesk if you haven't logged in before? Um, if you haven't logged in before, you'll need to make an account. So you'll set your own password, Mr. Yuchi. And um, there should be like a create account button, something like that. Look for that. If there isn't, um, you, you may want to navigate to like a menu on the top right where it says log in or create account. You should be able to find something there. Gabriel Gonzalez, shipping to NYC. Yes, we are shipping to NYC. We've shipped many bikes there. We will continue to do that. If you're waiting on a bike in NYC, please hang tight for your allocation letter, which will tell you uh, your bike's been built, allocated to you, and give you a ballpark estimate of when it comes. William asks what the drink is. So this is liquid IV, which is a little uh, packet. It's got all these electrolytes in it. You dip it, you drop it in some water, but I mix that with iced green tea, just cold brew iced green tea. And it's great. So you get caffeine and all the electrolytes. Awesome pick me up for that uh, after lunch lull. Gets me through the lives. The squirrel, is the baby maker a bike worth buying? I want to know because 1700 is a lot of money for me to spend. How many miles will the belt last? What about the motor? Hey, the squirrel, great question. So the motors are built very, very tough. We have had a few uh, failures with those so far at a very, very low rate. We've shipped thousands of them and only had a handful of failures so far. The belt is uh, one of the main selling points of the bike. It's a Carbon Gates belt drive, and those last so long, three, four times longer than a traditional chain. There are people riding them for 30,000 kilometers, which is like 20,000 miles, which is uh, for pretty much anybody, that's like a lifetime unless you're doing worldwide tours. Sue Glassby, how much will the VAT be in the UK? Uh, that's 20% of the purchase price, Sue. And the squirrel, what about the battery? So the battery is rated to maintain 80% of its um, charge capacity after 500 cycles. So 500 full charge cycles. Depending on how you ride, how often you charge, it's quite a long time. Charlie Lundblad, when will T2 container actually get shipped? So that uh, has been shipped. T2 and T3 have been shipped. They're at Anchor in Long Beach waiting to berth. Uh, that should be just over the next few days here. So uh, within the next two weeks, I'd say they should be able to come in hopefully get to our fulfillment center and then go out from there. There is a, you know, a bit of a variable there just because sometimes there's port congestion at the port of Long Beach where they're literally just waiting in a line for a parking spot at the port. So I can't promise on that, but I would expect uh, around two weeks from now when they'll get in. Alphonse said, yo, Rob, people wash hands still. That's what sanitizer is for. I hope they do. Paul, okay, thanks. Jeff says, let them know you should be sitting on the bike six to eight weeks uh, after your allocation letter. Jeff, that's a, that's a pretty good ballpark estimate. Thank you for that. Uh, Lorenzo, I'm in Alexandria, Virginia. I ordered mine on the FLX site September 2nd, 2020. Do I get mine by July 31st? So, Lorenzo, yes, you're included in that cutoff. Um, we basically are adding even orders now to just to the end of our build plan. So uh, that does cover all bikes ordered through now even. Uh, last, last, was there a change to the hydraulic disc brakes for the pro version? Something about not being completely hydraulic pros and cons. So, last... Um, in the very beginning of the campaign, the pro version with droppers, this only affects the pro version with droppers. Originally, we had the Magura MT5 uh, disc brakes on there, which are a lever brake, a standard lever brake that were mounted in the middle of the bars. And uh, due to feedback, some people said they, a lot of people actually said they didn't want those brakes. They wanted the ones that go at the end of the drop bars 
like a traditional road bike. So we switched from those to the TRP. Uh, it's a mechanically actuated hydraulic disc brakes, which means it has a cable running from the levers down to the brake caliper. And on the brake caliper, that's where you have the hydraulic reservoir and hydraulic piston. So it's a hybrid mechanic hydraulic disc brake for the dropper pros. It's the TRP mechanically actuated hydraulic disc brake. Troy, what's up? Come on in. Troy's back with answers. You got questions? Troy's got answers. What do you got? Oh, a couple, couple items we can uh, do a little follow-up on. I think you may have covered them. but So there's a question about touring kits. So we have fulfilled 450-some-odd uh, touring kits already. So we had mentioned that the uh, Container 19 has additional uh, touring kits coming. So if you're waiting for a touring kit... Late May, probably more realistically, early early June, you should have those again, depending on on the the container ship moving uh, arriving when it's uh, supposed to. So there's that. There's a question about what was in UK one. The majority of those were orange and sterling bikes, so that's the majority. There was a, a few pink ones in there, a very small number, like four. There was a question about matte black uh, bikes for both, uh, I believe, for the UK and, or for Europe. I'm not sure which, but so if you're looking for matte black bikes in the build, there are there's matte black bikes in UK two, UK three, NL three, NL four, NL five, NL six. So pretty much matte black bikes in almost every build. There there weren't any in uh, in UK one, but starting with UK two, they'll be uh, pretty much in every build until until those are exhausted. Uh, question about oh and UK two uh, right now looks like about 105 bikes is the target for that. We're gonna try to get a few more in there. Uh, hopefully, don't fall short of that, but it should be right around that number. And uh, that's what should ship out next Friday. Uh, and then on the VAT letters, originally they did come out in uh, the VAT amount was in dollars. We went ahead and changed that to uh, to to pounds. So. There were some people worried about conversion. It, we don't have to be penny perfect on this. You know, if you if you miss by a little bit, you know, we're not going to, to punish anybody for that. So if if you did the conversion and you were worried about it, you're fine. Uh, there was a couple of people. In fact, somebody paid us twice. We need to pay them back uh, if that if that holds out. Sometimes the bank clears those up and someone actually overpaid and we'll put some funds back to them. But uh, yeah, you don't have to be penny perfect on those things. But uh, the new ones, the follow-ups have all been, uh, the VAT has all been calculated in, uh, in, uh, in pounds. And I think that's it. Awesome. Okay. Hell yeah. Thank you for getting that in pounds. All right, Troy, thank you. Another round of applause. Oh, hang on. Wait, I got one more question for you. A lot of people were asking about your t-shirt. Oh, so tell you tell them where you got it. This actually, well, is it the same as yours, right? Is it, uh, almost. I'm not sure. I'm not well, sure no, it's the same in. company, is it right? I'm not sure. Okay, so this is a, this is a fresh clean tea. Um, so you may have seen him on your Instagram popping up, uh, plugging those. Uh, so it, actually, they're they're a pretty good shirt and they're pretty good value. And uh, I don't get paid to say that. Uh, they're they're uh, they're a decent shirt. They're a good fit. And um, that's what they are. Not everybody here wears them, but eventually they will. No, it's it's uh, no. They're good shirts. They're good value. Not an. Well, I guess that's an endorsement, but it's not a paid endorsement. Yeah, not yet. This is paid though. Use code Rob when you order your fresh clean tea. <laughs> it's the uh, it's part of the uniform, undersized fresh clean tea t shirt. I want to get my own order code. Well, you gotta you gotta start plugging them a little more. Okay. All right. Thank you, All Troy. Right. Another round of applause. All right, down to the final questions of the live. Chris, thanks, Rob, for keeping this Q&A live. It's been the correct move, Rob, to ease and for everyone's relief. Chris, hey, thanks so much for showing up to every single live and for staying so positive. I know how uh, challenging, challenging it is to wait for something, especially when you're so excited to get it. It's a hell of a wait. So you guys are really doing the hard work there by being so patient. Thank you for that. It's going to be well worth it when that bike arrives. Ding, thanks for that additional info, Troy. 
Drawn from the Water says, that's not true, Troy. There is matte black, Baby Maker, in UK1. I know people who ordered them and received the confirmation email. Interesting. We'll, uh, we'll look into that, Drawn from the Water. I'll keep an eye out on that. Connie Reese, thanks, Rob, for all you guys do. I should be done with the lives now. I have a belt squeak as well. Nothing silicone spray or specific roll-off belt lube shouldn't take care of. Thanks again, guys. Thank you, Connie. So stoked that you finally got the Blade 2.0. Have fun on that, and uh, be careful out there as well. That bike's got a lot of power, so I know, uh, I know you're used to the Harley, all that power. Shouldn't be an issue for you. Mr. Yuchi, thanks, Rob, for the update info. Ding, thanks, Rob. 105 additional bikes to the UK. We will be positively overflowing soon. Looking forward to receiving mine. Hope it may be in UK too. Hope so as well, Ding. Ray, great job. And Team FLX, you all rock. See you next week. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's live. Really appreciate you being here, uh, watching through this whole thing. And if you're still waiting on the bike, it's going to be with you soon. It'll be well worth the wait. Let's end this thing with some music. Take care, guys.